Welcome to the final night. And the Glock I picked up in the last episode I'm selling here. Then I go back to the Lotus Blossom and there is um, there are a couple things here. The first thing is there's some blood here. And I closed the door because there are people walking around in the hallway out there and I didn't want them to look in and see. So I just closed the door. Kind of like Skyrim, it's not stealing if nobody can see what you're doing. And now she's stuck in the doorway and what I did was I trance her and bump into her and that usually gets people to move when you trance them and then bump into them. So it didn't get her to move the first time, so I tranced her again, bumped into her, and she should walk forward. I can't go anywhere until she moves. I transfer again, bump into her. So what I figured out is I'm just trapped. So I had to do it again. So learn from that lesson. Even though you think usually these people will come out of their trance and continue to move and act normally, um, don't trance them in doorways. Unless you plan on killing them. So I had to do it again. So that's a game mechanic just to be aware of. And I pick up my Glock that I had dropped there previously. And I come around to the other side, get the key. I want to go ahead and do this. You bitch! I can't, I can't breathe in here! What? Yeah, who are you? You're not with the tongue. Didn't I just say that? You may not be with the tongue, but you seem to be as smart as they are. Yeah, I'm Kiki. Who the hell are you? The Tong Welcoming Committee? Oh, I'm so impressed. What? Like you want me to thank you or something? In your dreams, bitch. That's an original idea. Man, Dad must really be hurting for good help. Lead the way, hero. Now notice how you get five experience points for this. I think that's one more than normal, and it's because we have the occult item, I think. Okay, so anyway, um, she goes on, she goes back to Daddy, and uh, I've taken all the weapons that are downstairs and sold them, one at a time, and now I'm picking up the watch, which is downstairs, and upstairs, um, in the last room, there is, last room on the left, there's some money. So that takes care of um, scrounging everything on the top floor. And now we can go down into the basement and do the mission for Mr. Ox. I think Mr. Ox is a demon. Hey! What the hell you think you're doing? That's my locker, hooker! Go, hooker! You know who I am? Oh, man! You know what I do to people messing with my stuff, huh? Hoka! Time to teach you a lesson about respecting people's property. Oh yeah, Hoka, you're in for it now. Freeze!
and a humanity lost. Okay, that's a surprise. Didn't expect that. Master? What we see is um, there are a whole bunch of beds around the computer area and that means the game has completely bugged out and the game will be bugged out from this point on so once the game bugs out you're done it, everything all the NPCs are going to act weird and nothing is going to function properly this is uh, bloodline six point something it's a very buggy game uh, when you get into the the eight point something and the nine point um, series of mods or updates by West 5, um, the game is fine. It's not buggy at all. But this early version is very buggy. The absolute worst place for uh, the game bugging out is the downtown haven. So every time you enter the apartment buildings, you want to save before you enter the building. And then if you see anything the slightest bit buggy, you want to reload from the last safe save. Uh, don't try to play through it. It's, um, you're just asking for trouble, and um, I have had this happen to me several times. If you see anything weird at all, reload the last safe save and do it over. It, that's the only thing you can do. Hit me in the head and lock me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? Oh, so she's going to play it like that, huh? All right. All right, just let me out. I want to get as far away from that crazy bitch as possible. Okay, I did that mission because after losing a humanity, I wanted to gain a humanity back. And that put me back at eight. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. Gargoyles. Why are you asking about gargoyles? What can I tell you about them? A gargoyle, put simply, is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. Isaac Abrams. His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I appreciate your discretion in this matter, Neonate. Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. Good luck, young one. When you succeed in destroying the gargoyle, return, and I will give you an appropriate reward. With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. <laughs> 